In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create three animated infographic steps in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, it will show you the step one with the orange color where I've added the option step one uh, title and the icon here. And then I've added some detailed text. So when I click, it will show me the step two with a different color than the step three. So depending on the requirement, you can increase or decrease these options. Please share, like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on YouTube for PowerPoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and I have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and change the background to any dark grey color background then go to the view, enable the guides, go to insert shapes. From the rectangles, I'm going to choose the rectangle, which is rectangle top corner rounded. Just click it here and go to the height and width. The height, I'm going to make it as 2.5 and the width, I'm going to make it as 3. And shape outline, make it no outline, shape fill. I'm going to give white, later on we can give some gradient fill. And make sure to align center, align middle. And you can see here there are two small uh, uh, orange circles, orange points. So the orange point at the top, just drag this outside so there's no curved. And here the bottom one, drag this inside a little bit, which gives you this kind of shape. Okay, once this is done, go to the insert shapes. From the basic shapes, I'm going to choose the oval shape. Just click it here, make the height and width as 1.5 and i'm going to put it exactly here in the center you can see here and then drag this one hold the control shift key and drag this something like this all right only this corner which is on the top of the rectangle so what i'm going to do is next is select this shape hold the shift key select the oval shape at the top and select the oval shape at the bottom then go to the shape format merge shapes click on the fragment so now I'm going to delete this one, delete this, delete this and this. So I end up getting a shape which looks something like this. All right. So now I'm going to add one more uh, rectangle here, a rounded corner rectangle. All right. And here I'm going to make the width as 3.5 and the height could be 4. All right. Shape outline, make it no outline shape fill. I'm going to fill this with orange and then send this to back. All right, so you can see here the height and width is too much. So first of all, I have to give the same width, which is three here. So I'm going to make this also three. All right, and here the height also is too much. So I'm going to make maybe a 3.5 and drag this down. All right, so you can see here we have ended up getting a shape, which is like this. Again, if you want to make three also, you can make three also this one and it will be like this. All right, so the, depending on the requirement you can increase or decrease it all right so once this is done i'm going to add one shadow effect to add a shadow effect go to the insert shapes select the rectangle draw a small rectangle shape outline make it no outline shape fill i'm going to fill this with black color then right mouse click go to the format shape i'm going to increase the transparency here and go to the effects under the soft edges increase the size you can see here and then bring it here increase the size further and send this to back send to back so you can see here i've added some shadow effect as well and for this also i'm going to add one shadow so go to the shadow presets i'm going to use this one which is the offset top all right so i end up getting a shape which looks something like this and for this one i would like to give a gradient fill so select this shape click on the gradient fill because i have used this gradient fill uh, before that's the reason it's appearing here so what i did i used three gradient stops you can see here the first stop i have used the color which is any color you can choose which is the dark gray or whatever you can see here and the center one i have choose the white and again here for this one you can just choose any color so it looks something like this all right and make sure the direction should be this one which is the linear right okay linear right so once this is done now it's time to add some text to add the text go to insert 
text box and here I'm going to add the text I'm going to type step center align make it white font bring it here and I'm going to use the font called open sans extra bold all right press ctrl D to duplicate and this one I'm going to make it as 0 1 and I'm going to increase the size depending on the requirement I'm going to make it step 0 1 you can see here then go to the insert icons I'm going to insert uh, icons depending on the requirement so in this case I'm going to just choose some random icons you can see here I'm going to choose this icon click on insert and the height and width I'm going to make it as 0.6 and graphic fill give some gray color and put it exactly in the center insert text box here I'm going to say title here again open sans extra bold if you want put it exactly here and again color if you want gray or something like this so you can see here our basic design is almost done then go to the insert text box here we can add some detailed text equals l-o-r-e-m within brackets one and this will give me some latin text so I'm, i don't want this much large text so i'm going to select this one delete this center align font color i'm going to make this as white reduce the font size and put it exactly in the center now i'm going to select all of this press ctrl g to group it move this aside you can see here hold the ctrl shift key and sorry let me just do it again so again i'm going to select this hold the ctrl shift key and drag it again hold the ctrl shift key and drag it one more time so now this one i'm going to give some different color here maybe a green and this one i would like to give some kind of orange or purple or depending on the requirement so here i'm going to give this as two and this as three all right so you can see here step one step two step three and you can change the icons also very easily select this icon go to the graphics format graphic change graphics from icons i'm going to choose the icon any icon of your choice all right so maybe a battery all right so you can see here the icon got changed and the similarly you can just go there and repeat the steps and maybe in this case i'm going to choose this one and click insert so you can see here we have got step one step two step three now again if you want to do some basic animation uh, what you have to do is you have to do a proper grouping you know you see that we did this grouping it should be i'm going to ungroup this one so hold select all the shapes you can right mouse click group and ungroup that one or you can press ctrl shift g also to ungroup okay so first of all i'm going to select this text step one the option one and this yellow background or the orange background and press ctrl g it comes at the front not a problem you can send it back so here also i'm going to select this one press ctrl g select this one by holding the shift key press ctrl g to group it and select these three shapes and send back all right so here also i'm going to select this this and this press ctrl g this one this one and this one press ctrl g and this this and this press ctrl g you can see here i have got one group i have got another group here okay now to do the animations go to the animation pane enable the animation pane sorry animation tab enable the animation pane and here i'm going to select this two all right add animation i can make it fly in all right fly in this one which is this one it should come from the top so i'm going to select from the top so if i play it comes something like this all right so now i'm going to select both of this right mouse click effect options i'm going to give some bounce and effect okay it comes something like this all right then select the shadow i'm going to give a fade effect all right and that should happen after previous and this one add animation go to the more entrance effects stretch click ok and effect options from the top 
it should happen after previous so if i play it comes something like this you see so now i'm going to copy the animation with the help of the animation painter select this one click on the animation painter and click on the object which you want to do the animation so in this case this one i'm going to select this animation painter this one then the shadow effect i'm going to select the shadow and then the text all right so if i see here if i do a slideshow it comes step one then the step two the same thing you can repeat for the step three